that he will minister to us. Happy Wednesday, September, yeah, September 6th, 2023. To God be the glory for all that has taken place today. And in Leviticus 8, actually 9, I was walking down the street. <laughs> I had to take a walk after work and uh, extra walk and had the Bible in my hand. I said, Lord, speak to my heart. And don't you know that it cannot return empty when his word goes out, it's power, it's life, it's sustenance. And in Leviticus 9, he reminded me to do his commands as he told Moses and it says in verse 23 and Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people the Lord wants us to continue to bless the people who are around us even though it might be hard times or situations where you just don't understand continue to bless continue to work continue to spread your light continue to do great things and it says that they bless the people and the glory of the lord appeared unto all people so god is worthy to be praised no matter how dark things might seem you continue to wake up in the morning and Bless the Lord or your soul and all that is within you. Give him the first fruits of your morning. Give him throughout the day all that is due his name. And just continue to trust him. Yes, and it says that the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. This is the thing, verse 6, which the Lord commanded that ye should do. The Lord is telling us to do some things. And even though it might be very hard and we might not see the end but trust him in the dark. Just like right now, it seems like I'm in the dark part of the way and we can't see our way clearly. Trust him in the dark. And then before you know it, your light shall appear. Yes, the light of the Lord will shine as a noonday sun. But in the meantime, you trust him. And that reminds me of, is it Isaiah 56 where it talks about that your light will arise and your, yeah, in verse eight, Isaiah 58, it says, then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thy health shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee. It will lead you and the glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward or your rear guard. And then it says in Verse 11, the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in dryness and drought and make fat thy bones. Strength. Yes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, that's that 10 finger prayer. He will strengthen thy bones and make me a watered garden and a spring of water whose waters fail not. So this is sometimes when we have to turn over our plates and get before the Lord and get clear direction. And in verse 10, it says, Then shall thy light 
rise in obscurity where it doesn't seem clear. But sometimes, like I said, it takes the t it takes consecration and dedication and going in deep and like a and thy darkness be as a noonday. But the Lord said that He will illuminate our path. Ew, and that reminds me of Psalms thirty six. It says that in thy light we shall see His light. Mm hmm. He will show us the path of light and. Is that Psalms 36? Let's see. Psalms 36, 9. I was reading that when I was walking. Is it Psalms? Oh, look, I'm in Job. Hold on, you all. Psalms 36, 9. Yes. For with thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light, when we're in the purposes and the will of God, in his light shall we see light. But we have to get positioned in his will to do his good pleasure. And then we'll be able to see his path. O oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Yes, and there was another chapter that blessed my soul. We would have gone to Psalm 6 or 36 or 66 or 96 or 126. Psalms 126, I tell you, bless my soul. It says in verse 5, they that sow in tears shall reap, shall receive, shall reap in joy. And then verse six, he or she that goeth forth and weepeth, okay, crying, like, oh my goodness, there's so much going on, shall receive something. When they go out bearing precious seed, so trying to bless others, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him or her. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning time, Father. Lord, you want us to continue, Lord, to acknowledge you in all that we do, and we will be directed by your every move, oh God. So have your way in our life. We, even when we don't understand, even when we're in the dark, let us trust you. And we'll forever worship you in Jesus' name, amen.